Mm, Timo Kalen. Baryon. Okay. It's gonna be pretty hard to try to move his units considering that he has protection spell from failure, but we'll see. The Sandra seems fine. Yeah, I guess I just full move and everything though. Eh, Predict card, I'll play you on turn 1. Both are good options, honestly. I think Predict card is just way better. Or maybe this one on early turns is also pretty decent, so I can get you out sooner than later, right? Yeah, I guess I just play the Frozen Thrall here. This could also be really useful since it's Frostbite everything. I uh, know Frostbite, reduce attack, right? Pretty decent. Pass. Mmm. Trizzy is the ancient prep. Mm, focus speed is way better though, right? Since I can play Lissandra and focus. Well, this is also pretty decent. Do you want damage to all enemies? I think I go this one though. This one is a uh, wide, uh, reduced, right? That one, the time the bottom only reduces one of the lemma. Let's just pass here. Play U Tantri and hope to god he doesn't have Kalon on Tantri. He doesn't, okay. Love to see it. Play Lissandra here and play you next turn. And we should be fine. This will go down to 6, play this, this will go down to 5. Hopefully, I draw the 5 cost unit. The 5 cost 4 5, that once your opponent draw reaches 4 countdowns, they just prop already. So that'd be pretty good if I draw it. Nope. I don't really draw one card yet, but see it. I could try to D1 and everything, but Timo's gonna lap. He's just gonna play spells to level Timo, isn't he? Just type of clock ring. He might be tempted to block. Yeah, then Avalanche could actually kill Timo and the uh, unit. Right? But he might have a buff spell. We'll see though. He just passes. No way he just passes. I think I need to go for this. And he plays protection spell. It's nice. Eh? I guess I gotta go for it, right? If he tries to protect Timo, he can't block protect this unit, right? Which is decent. But he will just have double elixir of iron. Then both units just get protected. Hmm, aftershock, I guess, most likely. Or he just plays that so he can level Timo because of uh, Puff Cap, Shuffle, and Puff Cap, sorry. But I guess it's an uh, aftershock because Kaylin, uh, uh, Lissandra now goes down to 2 health, so most likely it's an aftershock. Yep, aftershock. It's a bit annoying why he does sort of this result. Probably he doesn't have another Timo. I could Frostbite Timo next turn, but it would be really annoying to waste a Frostbite on a 2 2 Timo. Talia might just be insanely good here. He attacks, okay. I think I just resolve and play this one to advance. Nah, I probably should just duplicate, right? I just duplicate with Talia and then play in. It doesn't really matter anyway. But I'm playing mana on curve, right? Which is just better, I guess. Two five, sure. Pass. Well, That's Kaylin here? though. I can frostbite her. I think should be fine. That's pretty decent though. Advances everything again. Would really like the five cost four five now. I think I just do one of our enemies right, killing Puff Capella. While I have the chance, he might have Alex of Iron, which would be pretty annoying. But it is what it is if he does have it. Must be, right? That's the only spell I'm thinking. I'll just be, yeah, he will spell for Talia. That's fine. He's getting full value with his buff capella before he dies, huh? Sure. Kaelin is not yet level. He needs four more uh, flash bombs. A uh, three more traps. Play you, advance all. Play you, advance all. So, on my next attack, these will be able to prop off and just attack. Okay, let's go for that. 3 8 8 with Overwhelm. Should be able to get any game, right? That's not that. That's fine though. It doesn't kill a unit, which is just alright. Let's investigate. Block, block. Maybe yeah, we should be fine. Unless he plays the 3 mana cost card that allows. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, sure. So I'm pretty sure this is fine. There's no reason to play this since these lemmas are gonna prop anyway, so yeah. Maybe I draw into Lissandra, that'd be pretty good. Giving my next card is the same rule. Eh, a bit late, I'm afraid. Three puff caps, okay, and that was still basically. Practice, as they say, makes perfect. 
So sure, attack like this. I really is what commit here. I could buff one of them up with Fury of the North. But I'm pretty sure he dead. He blocks yeah, this is overwhelm damage. Pretty sure he dead here. Yeah. That's fine, not good enough. Oh yeah, he do draw a card though, because of Thunder Effect, I guess. Could be the three mana cost card that you know draw draw two for each player. Oh, it's got a frost by one of them. Really annoying. Stop shuffling flash bombs, please. And that. So I need her entomb Kaylin. If I frost by Kaylin, Kaylin attacks next turn and I still die. I need to just frost by Kaylin. Fury of the North is not good enough too because Fury of the North only buffs three attacks, so it wouldn't be lethal either way. So I just need to entomb Kaylin here. Because if I don't need to Kaylin, if I only just frostbite next turn, he just gets to attack with Kaylin too, and if I drop any traps, then I just die either way still. Talia, oh yeah, we Talia levels because of this. Sure, that's cute. Talia again. So next turn, as long as I just don't draw, as long as he doesn't play Corina, I does, just don't drop any puff cap, I should be fine. I hope to God, I guess. I could just play Force and Thrall here and do this to at least advance it and predict so I can, you know, draw less puff caps. So this has one puff cap, this has one puff cap, and this has zero puff cap. I think right negation is the choice here because this also cor uh, counters Corina champion spell, right? Uh, Corina skill. I think that's worth it. I'll play Clockling too since he advances the landmark, I guess. Sure. And, and wrong. So next turn, I draw right negation. It's pretty good spell, and I stop Corina if he does play her. Yeah, oh, if I can add it, he top tagged it by the way. Me. So I play my negation here, I stop it. Playing Talia here doesn't really make sense. I could, but the, I don't have enough space for the second brawl that I'm gonna be pulling out right, but I think I should just still do it. Because of the skill damage. They are my people and I am theirs. Again, she's just another threat on board. If which I he needs to deal with, I, I guess you could say. Because he might just have like a bunch of harsh winds and stuff like that, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have any more cards to allow me to draw. But I guess he should not surrender there. He might just, you know, win. What if I just have all five cup caps on top of my deck just now? And he just surrender there. GG. Pantheon Kaisa. Okay. So, Evolf deck with a bunch of fated units and stuff like that. This on turn 1, Lissandra turn 2, sure. So I have my advances card, that's nice. That's the card I was looking for last game. I guess I just only play Intro Prep here. Mm. Time is Bottle is pretty good actually. Let's just go Time is Bottle. Pass. Play you and summon a Thrall. Mm, end round. Play Lissandra and summon a Wait, I should. Should probably attack first because he might play a unit, right? Because if I play Lissandra, he might, he might play a big unit. Yeah, like win the white flame, and I wouldn't be able to attack. Should just Age play Lissandra now. So, 7, right? Pass. Okay, they're pretty close. This Talia's, I have Talia in hand though, what which is also just decent overall. That's luck. fine. I think I'll pass it because I think he always attacks with both units. Yep, I can easily block both of them. I think I just turbo advances this one and play Talia on turn 5 and then play you on turn 6 so I can advance both at the same time. I think that's the play. All these are pretty bad. I think Harsh Winds is probably the best one, but this already has spell shield, right? Maybe Harsh Winds is not that good. This is meh. I don't need this already. I'm gonna just pass here, I guess. You now you become 3, right? Wait. Actually, ah, the misplay. Pretty sure that this used the clockwork to advance uh, this one. That was a misplay by my part. Come on, there's so much I mean, um, I'm pretty sure it's just the same thing, right? Because I'm just gonna play Dark Lord, blah blah blah, next turn. So I think it just does the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Pass. If I did not have him, then I guess going for the play I was going for was the right play. But since I have him, it doesn't really matter. Since this dude just dropping down next turn, he's gonna advance all my landmarks. Pass. I mean, it's lucky fine, it's annoying, but it doesn't have any like overwhelm keywords and stuff like that, so it should be fine. 
Talia playing this with level her, so we shall to find pass. So I play you. I don't get the draw, which which is a sad. But now this landmark also you know props up, which is this nice overall. He could try to kill him with Desert Duel. Doesn't happen. Okay. Pass. I really would like to just play full and uh, full and draw again just so I can level Talia as another threat. But I think this this three is just final roll and getting the Sandra leveled. More than mortal, I am Iceborn. The Sandra level is also just seasonal roll since it just gives my Nexus tough and continuous uh what eye shots, right? Could easily help me just pop the Wonder White Flame spell shield. An attack like this, I don't make good trades with one of the Wounded Wife Flame, which is fine. Again, high shot, right? I just pop the spell shield and force him to play and waste more buff spells under this one if he wants to preserve this unit. Mmm. Pretty good overall, I guess. Sure. Pretty sure Kaita's not yet level. You got spell shield, faded fury, those three keywords, and nothing else. One of the lucky finds is gonna get. Hey, that's not a keyword, so that's good news. Lose if another keyword, so the 4 keyword already. I shot here should be fine. I think I can omit to this. Yes, I want to pop the spell shield, right? Also, it just kills this unit and puts it put Epsmus at 1 health and damage Nexus a bit, which is just fine. I think I just play this, right? Just help Talia level. My journey won't end until I'm through weaving it. They're pretty decent. And I have a few more advanced cards with this one and this one. Avalanche here doesn't seem that bad, honestly. I think I should just pass. So gonna, you'll see if he has mana to actually play stuff, right? If I keep developing stuff, he's gonna develop stuff too. Not only Sandra is decent, actually. It's in tune, basically. That's not too bad, but it's not too good. Put, put this at 8 health, see if this dies the draw. I need to, unless he has another. I mean, Asmus gonna buff this to 9 health, but I have, he knows that I shot, so he needs to waste more guiding cards. Yeah, want us to like mourn, stuff like that. Um, if that's his play, then should probably just pass again. Again, this doesn't have Overwhelm. It doesn't have nothing. I think I should just block like this, honestly. This has Overwhelm. Remember that. And just comment here. Actually, probably just use Eye Shot so I can pop the Shield. Because now he could go there's a duel or something like that. Now just damage Nexus again and Asmus. My throat has Overwhelm. His dragon doesn't. That's the difference between our units. He's bigger than mine, but mine can actually represent Leaper. He can. So, more health again, not a new keyword. That's the third one, by the way, sure. I guess I just play this to advance this for fun reasons. This is 3 out of 5. That's we fine. Look, it's not empowered, so he won't get the life steal. He could buff it up, but sure, I guess that's cute. Time on the bottle is sure, it's fine. Attack with these units only because they can push for damage. He could write a negation to stop the skill from Talia, which is fine, I think. I have Aisha to push for damage. Aisha just wins here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Aisha wins here. Pale Cascade. He doesn't draw though. Does Aisha win here still? Yeah, it does because it damages these units also and this one. So the skill and the O we are actually pushed for more damage and it was beaten. GG. I mean, he had big units there, but my units were just more of a threat than his, so, right, so yeah, GG. Yumi Pantheon this time, okay, sure. I mean, basically, fate attack, just like last game, but no evolve this time. Talia is really good to keep, I think. But I should probably mulligan so I can find, uh, have high chance, yeah, find 4 cards. Let's go for that play. Turn 1, turn U, turn 3 U, and predict into the 5 cost card like last game. The 5 cost 4 5. Really, really good here. Yep, love to see it. The Altaria was also a nice keep, but I think that unit is too good. Peace yeah, 1 1, sure. He could just blood. easily put this to Yumi and stuff like that to put 4 points in. But I think my, my thrall is gonna be bigger and better, just like last game. Summon the thrall, let's get that. My is That's yours. fine. Still it does a 2 to pass. He needs to waste more fate card. Next turn is gonna be a 5-5 five, five with Yumi if he has it. Keep that in mind. He doesn't. I guess I block this one. Again, because he's most likely gonna have a buff spell. There's no way, yeah, he has a buff spell. Then I could just use you to block a 3-3 three, three, better than a 2-1, right? Sure. 
You could also just have single combat strike off the Sandra, which will be pretty sad, but it is a bit. Not now though, he needs to use it next turn. Um, Hush Reigns is pretty good in this matchup, I feel like. Probably just play this. 6-9, hey, look at that. Pretty nice, if you ask me. So, just got a 6 5. Should just. I think I need to advance this one. This goes to the 5. Okay. This is workable. Stay on combat. Okay. I mean, that's actually good news. That means that this dude has more chance to actually survive and you know, do his combo, right? He's always gonna attack, so I guess I should ancient prep. What if I. I'm just. Maybe, maybe this dude dies, right, in the end. None of these guys are actually helpful. Let's just skip here. 6 9. Um, pass. Because I was looking for a second one because this guy might just die, honestly. He does have like fish fights and combat. He's in Demacia, so. Strike spells. Lock and commit. Uh, should always just develop this. If he has it, he has it. Can't do much about it. Just looking for a second one. Yeah, he does have another single combat. It's really annoying. Pass. Uh, if he attacks two more times, mini levels and give that unit spell shield, then I can't even go harsh winds on the win, which is the problem. Pantheon could also just hide off spell shield, by the way. Talia. Maybe it actually attacks with one unit. He might be tempted to just block. Together, yeah, he blocks. Okay. No closer. Sure. The right play was not to block, because now Talia can copy this one and I have another, you know, throw on board. Sadly, can't go time in the bottom into Talia, so can't go for 2 a eight next turn, but it is what it is. He gets spell shoot, so annoying. I stand this day, a man against all gods! That was such a high roll life steal. So stupid, but sure. I guess I gotta go for this place too. Together, we are stronger than stone, faster than the wind! I stumble, I have the earth to catch I have a bunch of troll. Yeah, frozen troll. Not trolls, but frozen troll. Pass here. Is this the face of fear? Uh Trace is just decent, I guess. Frostbite, right? We must. Things should just block like this and block like this. And we be fine. It's 7 damage, sure, but I think it's alright, honestly. I guess I just time it about to this one. Next one will be round 8. This is actually decent. Summoning a 7-7 seven, seven while also having giving me the two of the focus speed spells that can advance this more 8-8 units. That's actually not that bad. But any buff spells for Pantheon and stuff like that could just make Pantheon turn into a good trade, right? And also Pantheon has spell shield, which is the annoying part. Play Block Hanno, sure. The Sandra's level, which is nice, I guess. So you to this is now you to you you to you to have three a eights and a seven seven and Talia more to represent ten damage I guess you could think about it but she doesn't know where I'm so we wouldn't white plane could just block like this and Talia only push for two damage he should not block like this she should at least block like this so he takes the damage and then he lies through the damage the that might be a misplay actually that is a misplay he should block like this. Why do you fight? Yeah, wait what? Then he blocks one of the old units? He still dies though, he needs to put Pantheon in front. It's still not good enough, you just need to put Pantheon in front. Are you the one? Bro, Together, stranger. just put Pantheon in front. And then you just heal back the damage you take. Before you die. It's not that hard. It's not that- I think I can't man, I guess that's why. Hmm, sure. Stand up. Yeah, if you put Pantheon like this, you don't die. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes what? either. You need to block, bro. If you don't block, you just die. Yeah, you need to block. Are you the one? Sure. So Unity dies though, which is good news. He could have buff spell. Could be. Or single combat, stuff like that. He needs to think before the time runs out. Single combat? I guess he wants to preserve the unit. I guess that makes sense. But you take more damage that way. I guess it's really dependent on this unit actually being a threat. But this unit doesn't even have overwhelm, so it's not really gonna push for anything. I have a tree, a seven seven as a blocker. I guess he has a spell that gives this overwhelm, but I have harsh winds too. So and in tune, by the way, <laughs> double harsh winds, insanely good. 
Hopefully he doesn't play a second pen. Yeah, he he's just done. Just overwhelm him with Thrall that can actually represent damage instead of just, you know, just being good to big stats. Thrall actually has overwhelm, so GG. Thank you.